Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker, Cross Terms Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Getting real excited. We are about to work our bison. We're getting everything ready. We're getting it prepared to work our bison for their full handling. When I say work the bison, that means they're gonna get their vaccinations. They're gonna get some warmer to help them through the fall. We're just trying to keep our animals as healthy as possible and get them taken care of and check them and look them over and make sure they're doing great. So I'm doing some prepping. We're gonna do a couple different things this time. Trying some new black netting. It's uh, almost like a construction fence, found it on Amazon. Got a six by 50 foot uh, roll of it here. I've got some thick 120 pound black zip ties or 12 inches long. We're gonna use these. Uh, I'm gonna put here, I'm gonna black this area out. And one of the reasons I'm doing this as this is a holding area, this is where they'll, this is where they get stressed out. And when they're in here for a temporary time, before they go through the tub, into the alley system, and into the squeeze chute, um, they're going to be in here just for a minute or so. And, and while they're in here, while we're working the others, uh, they get kind of stressed out. And so this will help them calm down as long as they can't see through uh, these panels of this little box area here. This will hopefully keep them calm and lower that stress. You see this a lot in bison um, handling facilities. You see a lot of them I call blacked out or the walls covered. Some people, you can use tarp as well, but this is something new I wanted to try. This is a cheaper route than using a solid sheet metal to put on here. Sheet metal would be the best because it's gonna last forever. But I know this was only temporary, but I wanna try it and see if it helps. We got um, most of our fence on one side. Now I'm gonna start on this side and we'll have a holding area that's completely blacked out. Okay, got her blacked out. So this is one of the holding areas. Bison will be in here first. They'll come down and then they'll come through here. We'll close these gates down here and then the tub will start. They'll go through the tub and come out into the squeeze chute and the head gate, the new head gate we got put on. So they'll come down here, we'll hold them here we can even sort them in this area, but this is a place where they'll be for a while and this is where you want them to kind of stay as calm as possible. So this is a hold area. This gate will shut because we'll be in here working them. I'm gonna black this one out. I can't do it now because see the bison are up here. I've got them blocked off for now. Got the gate shut. So they're in one of our small lots. We don't wanna go chase them tomorrow. So we'll have to just round them up in the morning and get them in here in our holding area and then start from there we'll black this gate out and then from here from here they'll go in the tub they'll go in an alley alley with sliding gates and then we'll weigh them right here in this part and then we'll 
get their vaccinations here, kick them out. And they'll end up going back out in the pasture. So. Okay, a lot of you guys remember some of my um, times that we worked the bison. You can go back and watch some of that footage and you can hear me pretty much um, very upset at this head gate. I do not like this head gate. So this is a self-catch head gate. It's really not very conducive for bison. So it can go forwards and then can go and you can go back and watch we had a lot of trouble here because the bison have to go backwards because this can't come all the way forward so the bison had to go backwards in order to come out you don't want to teach them to have to go backwards. They need to come forward. So we need this. It does go forward, but it doesn't go forward very far because of our crash gate. And we got to have this crash gate on there because they, when they see that light, they try to come through here and this slows them way down. So now I got to get these bolts off here. Those are going to be tricky down there. Gotta get the cutting torch out and uh, get this cut off, get this crash gate off. We're still gonna use this crash gate. It's gonna go on our new head gate, um, but I'm gonna take this head gate that I do not like off and we're gonna sell it. We're gonna get rid of this thing, so. Got a cut here, here and attached it to the head gate. So now we gotta cut this off and then take this head gate. Once we get the crash gate off, we're gonna take the head gate to the sulfur consignment auction. Well, finally got the head gate on. We had to make uh, some adjustments. I had to do a little bit of engineering for sure because part of the head gate that attaches to this actual squeeze chute, the uh, areas where the bolts go in didn't match up. So I had to do some welding uh, so that we could get these uh, bolts through the squeeze chute onto the head gate. And now we've got our locked down. We've got bolts here attached and then a bolt on this side we had to do our engineering here and just come up off of the head gate because the head gate was actually shorter i was supposed to attach here but this here is the actual squeeze chute the gray part and so this was supposed to match here so we had to do a little bit of engineering we actually we um, attached this really thick tubing so we could get that bolt into the area where the head gate attaches so here we had to add this extension so we could get up here and then our bolt comes out right there and now we've got a working head gate that's the way it's supposed to go now just have to attach the crash gate <laughs> 